While reproduction is the main purpose for mating in the animal world, there are a number of weird mating rituals that you may not even imagine. From extravagant dance routines to flexing muscles and killing their own partner, animals do it all. But if you thought the weirdness stops at mating, you're so wrong. There are some animals that might not have bizarre mating rituals, but they sure have the weirdest and seemingly odd ways of giving birth to their young ones. Some of these are so bizarre that you'll have a hard time believing them, even after you've seen it with your own eyes. So stick around to the end of this video, where we take a look at the 11 weirdest ways animals give birth in the wild. Number 11. Giraffes We humans should consider ourselves really lucky because we come into this world amongst the safety and comfort of hospitals. Now imagine falling six feet and smacking your head on the ground right after birth. Doesn't sound very pleasing, does it? While that might be disturbing for us, for baby giraffes, that's just how their life starts. Surprisingly, the six feet fall from their mother's womb to the ground below doesn't hurt the babies. Instead, it stimulates them to take their first breath. It also helps snap their short umbilical cord and tears the amniotic sac. While newborn giraffes might look tiny when compared to their incredibly tall mothers, you'll be shocked to know that they are born as tall as an adult human. Due to their extreme size, giraffe mums give birth standing up so that she doesn't damage the baby's lengthy neck. Who knew being born could be such an exhausting business? Number 10. Hammerhead Sharks Hammerhead sharks are by far one of the most iconic species of sharks around, but their alien-like appearance isn't the only thing that makes these marine creatures really fascinating. In 1999, a captive hammerhead shark in the Nebraska Zoo gave birth to another hammerhead. Except, this wasn't just any regular birth, because the mother was the only one in the tank. How did that happen? Well, it turns out, females of this species can reproduce without males. This is also known as parthenogenesis, or virgin birth. Even though hammerheads aren't the only animals capable of this, it is a very rare occurrence in the animal world. Parthenogenesis might seem interesting, but it also carries a lot of risk for the species. Reduced genetic diversity in offspring makes them prone to being wiped out. Luckily, this occurs in hammerhead sharks very rarely, only when males are really hard to find. Number 9. Hyenas There is no doubt about the fact that hyenas give birth to their young in one of the most complicated and dangerous ways. For starters, female hyenas have three times as much testosterone as their male counterparts. This doesn't just make the females more muscular, but also causes them to grow a pseudo-penis. Yes, females don't have an external vagina, and as a result, give birth through this pseudo-penis. Due to this, giving birth becomes quite a painful process, and it often turns out to be tragic for the babies. Even though hyenas generally bear a litter of two to four cubs, unfortunately, about 60% of them suffocate on their way out. Since the birth canal is only an inch in diameter, it doesn't just suffocate the babies, but it often makes the birthing process fatal. This is also the reason why death rates of first-time mothers are so high for these animals. Number 8. Surinam Toads You'll notice right off the bat that Surinam Toads don't really look similar to other toads. Well, not only do they not look similar to other toads, but they don't give birth like regular toads either. In fact, these creatures have one of the most bizarre ways of giving birth in the world. After the female releases about 100 eggs, the male fertilizes them and then pushes them onto her back. The eggs are then covered by a thick layer of skin that nestles them in honeycomb-like protected pockets. This weird method might seem like a lot of work, but in reality, it's a lot safer for the newborns. Younglings are much less vulnerable to predator attacks when they are sealed into their mother's backs. Another interesting fact about this odd way of giving birth is that baby toads don't go through a larval or tadpole stage. Instead, they erupt from their mother's backs after three to four months as fully formed half-inch toadlets. Number 7. Platypus Platypus truly deserves to be called one of nature's most unlikely animals for a number of reasons. For starters, unlike the vast majority of mammals that give live birth to their young ones, platypus tend to do things a bit differently. They lay eggs. There is even a term for mammals that lay eggs, and they are called monotremes. In fact, they are one of the only two species of mammals that lay eggs instead of giving birth to live young ones. Females seal themselves and lay one or two eggs in one of the burrow's chambers. Although the eggs hatch after about 10 days, 
younglings aren't developed enough to survive on their own. They require another three to four months of nursing from their mothers until they are able to swim on their own. Number six, seahorse. If you thought hammerhead sharks giving birth without males was weird, wait till you hear about what seahorses can do. Now, I know this might sound fake, but believe me when I say it's the males of this species that get pregnant and give birth. Yes, male seahorses incubate their developing embryos in a pouch that is located on their tail. This pouch is the equivalent of a uterus in female mammals. It even contains a placenta that aids the development and growth of the babies. Experts believe that the reason males give birth instead of females is because their babies mostly end up being eaten by prey. So when the male bears the responsibility of giving birth, the female is free to create more eggs to be fertilized without wanting to give birth herself. What's even more mind-blowing is the fact that seahorse fathers can give birth to as many as 2,000 babies at a time. Hats off to seahorse dads. Number 5. Cuckoo Catfish We've already seen how devoted cichlids are when it comes to taking care of their young ones. And we are not the only ones to feel this way. In fact, cuckoo catfish seem to be so impressed with this paternal care strategy that they have come up with a really cheeky idea. These catfish have become an obligate brood parasite of the mouth brooding cichlids. This simply means that, rather than raising their own babies, they force cichlids to raise them in their mouth. These seemingly horrible mothers swoop in to lay their clutch of eggs when they see a cichlid laying eggs. Once a parasitic cuckoo's eggs are in the protection of a caring cichlid mother's mouth, they have the upper hand. While cichlid eggs typically hatch between 6 to 7 days of fertilization, cuckoo eggs hatch relatively quickly between just 2 to 4 days. And this is where things get ugly. After emerging, these young fish gather all the energy they need by feeding on the unhatched cichlid eggs. Number 4. Kangaroo Just like any other species of mammals, kangaroos give birth to live babies as well. But there is something different about the way they do it. Even though these marsupials give birth to live babies, their babies aren't fully developed at birth. After birth, the fetus-like embryo climbs out from the birth canal and into its mother's pouch. The baby then attaches to the teat inside the pouch and stays there for another 6 months until it is fully developed. What's interesting though is the fact that once mom has given birth, she will mate again and become pregnant. Except this time, the second baby won't be born after 28 days. Instead, the second baby stops developing when it becomes a bundle of around 100 cells. It just sits there and waits for the previous tenant to vacate the pouch. The advantage to this strategy is that mums can replace a joey really quickly if she loses one. It seems like kangaroo mothers get really busy when making babies. Number 3. Tarantula Hawk The tarantula hawk has one of the most disturbing birthing processes in the entire animal kingdom. To reproduce, these creepy crawlies first stings and injures a tarantula spider to the point where it gets paralyzed. These spiders are often as large as huntsman or funnel web spiders and weigh nearly twice the wasp itself. It then drags or flies the paralyzed spider back into its burrow and lays eggs on top of the spider's body. The wasp then seals the spider in a chamber at the end of the burrow. But wait, things get even more gruesome from here on. You see, after the larvae hatch from the eggs, they need to have the energy to continue with their development process. How do they get it? Well, simply by feeding on the carcass of the spider that they were born on. This might sound gross to us, but for the tarantula hawks, this proves to be the most effective way. Number 2. Octopus Octopus are one of the most fascinating marine creatures of all time. Be it their exceptional intelligence or narrow escapes, these animals have always amazed us in a number of ways. Naturally, it's only fair that these guys have an equally interesting way of giving birth. You might find it shocking, but reproduction is also a death sentence for these creatures. Octopuses are parous animals, which means they reproduce once and then they die. Females often stop eating and just waste away after laying their batch of eggs. They usually die even before any of their eggs hatch. And trust me, males aren't any better off either. Their only purpose is to deposit the sperm either by detaching their extra arm into the female altogether or by only depositing the sperm pockets. In some cases, females will also eat males after mating and even if she doesn't, the male will die in a few months anyway. It seems like reproducing is the ultimate life goal of every ambitious octopus. Number 1. African Cichlids 
It's no secret that animal mothers will do the unimaginable to protect their young ones or eggs. But how far do you think they will actually go? Well, I don't know about other creatures, but I can vouch for African cichlids because these fish have come up with an ingenious and effective way to protect their eggs. You see, African cichlids are mouth brooders. These fish lay their eggs near the males, and after the male has fertilized them, the mother picks up her eggs in her mouth and swims away. The eggs are then incubated inside the female's mouth until they hatch. Interestingly, there are a few species of cichlids, such as telepines, that also exhibit paternal mouth brooding. This simply means that the newborn hatchlings will stay close to the parents and often hide in their mouth when faced with a threat. These young fish have a week or two before they go out exploring the depths on their own. Those giraffe calves must be really envious of these fellas. Do you know of any other animals that give birth in incredibly bizarre ways? Which animal do you think is the weirdest of them all when it comes to odd ways of giving birth? Let us know your answers in the comments section below. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. And yes, don't forget to share this video with your friends. If you're new to the channel, just hit the bell icon and turn on all notifications after subscribing to the channel. That'll be all to keep you updated with all the interesting videos we post on this channel. We'll see you soon in the next one. Bye!